Yo, what is up, Underdog Fam? Zachary Babcock here. Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here and you want the best tips on how to rapidly scale your business to six and seven figures as an underdog entrepreneur without the stress, overwhelm, and sh frustration of trial and error, uh, be sure to hit the subscribe button, tap the bell notifications. That way you don't miss anything. And we're gonna talk about business strategy, how to build, build building a solid business strategy in your business. And we're gonna break down all the components. We're gonna talk about you know what you need to do, how to do it, and why it's important. So uh, with that being said, we're getting started right now. My name is Zachary Bell. Of, there's this comic that I love and I reference a lot and there's this there's a, a man standing in front of two doors and he's confused and he doesn't know which door to go into and he's torn and he can't figure it out and on one door it says heaven and on the other door it says books about heaven and it's like <laughs> I, and I, it's like that idea that so often we get caught up in the like like you probably don't need more research <laughs> you know you've probably read a couple of books you, you have some knowledge and most people don't have an information problem. We have an application problem. We know what to do, but we don't do it because we're still waiting for someone to like some magic person to tell us some secret. Here's the secret. I want to tell you the secret to success. It's no, there's no secret. <laughs> you got to do the work. Um, yeah, man. So really just kind of setting things up. Oh, I guess the whole point of this was like, don't get a VA unless you really need one. <laughs> <laughs> dude, fuck yeah, man, dude! I love this. I love where this is going, dude. So, dude, you, you made all killer points right there. Let's dissect that for a second. Yeah, VA, do the fucking work yourself first. Learn how the shit goes, what needs to be done, how your business is gonna operate before you start outsourcing and have something to outsource. Yeah, first you need to be scheduling the appointment so you know how the 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 lingo and what to look for when you want to schedule it then you need to be editing <clears throat> your podcast episodes or yes. your youtube videos or making your graphics or whatever it is that your business entails you do all of that shit figure it out how it's done then when you get to the money making aspect when you start building these uh products and services that you're offering then you can outsource the mundane bullshit not bullshit but like the shit that you don't need to be yeah. doing so you could focus on what's really important growing the business building your network so i love what andrew broke down right there and i, I just want to be clear on this yes you do need to build out an outsource team you need to have people that are going to be scheduling appointments for you or editing your videos or podcast episodes if you do content creation which you should be in this day and age uh bookkeeping uh hire people to clean your freaking house like all that stuff like because think about it man what's the most valuable asset we have it's time most people think it's money well we, we, we Time is the most valuable asset that we have, but a lot of people put the lowest price on it. And so you gotta guard your time, you know? And most of us underdog entrepreneurs, we don't know how to set up these business operations. You know, we think that we gotta do it all ourselves. We're solopreneurs, which is that, that's, that's, that's the wrong way to go. Yeah, do it yourself first, figure out exactly what's needed in your business, how it works, and then start building a team around that. You can hire VAs out in the Philippines for like $3.50 an hour, which is good fucking money for them. Uh, they're living good off of that, uh, $5. Like you could find that in, in, in the Philippines to take these tasks because there's a huge difference between being a business owner and a business operator. All right, uh, business operators is what most of us underdog entrepreneurs are getting into business. We think we need to do it all ourselves, and we're constantly having to react to keep up with our schedule, to schedule things, and to uh, make sure that our content's going out on time, or to make sure that the client's being onboarded properly, uh, to make sure that the delivery of our products and services is getting there on time, all that good stuff, right? So you're constantly reacting. You have no time to think proactively to go out and lead and grow your business and to scale it. If you're the one that's constantly doing everything in your business, like there's there's gonna become a point in your business where it gets to a point, if you're doing it all yourself, where you're not gonna be able to take on more tasks or more business or more things and, and expand and grow because you only have, we all have the same 24 hours in a day. So yeah, you wanna build out these operation systems, build out this strategy, figure out what it is first, start outsourcing ASAP. If you enjoyed that video and you wanna check out some more killer videos that are gonna help you scale your business to six and seven figures, be sure to check out this playlist right there. If you wanna check out um, that full interview with uh, me and Phil, Philip, uh, 
you could check it out. I'll link it up. It's uh, in the in the description below, iTunes or Google Play. Uh, and guys, dude, thank you for being on this channel, being a. And if you want to check out the full interview with me and Philip Andrew, uh, be sure to check it out. It's in the description below on iTunes and Google Play, or you can check it out on underdogempowerment.com. All that will be linked up in the description below. Um, until next time, keep dominating, keep rising up, keep figuring out ways how to win, and I will see you on the next video. We put them hours in to bring them dollars in. It is that underdog empowerment. We put them hours in to bring them dollars in. My name is Zachary Bell.